Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a different video for you guys and it's going to be a beadwork tutorial. And I'm going to show you how to make these little panda bracelets. These are kid bracelets that I make and they're my best sellers as well. So I thought I would share with you guys. So for these bracelets, you're going to need black, white and pink Muki Delica beads. A Muki Delica sewing needle. These are really, really thin needles because the beads are so small. If you use, say for instance, a normal sewing needle, you'll break the beads. So you'll need a small needle. And I will link the shop where I get my stuff from in the description box below. You're going to need black of this. don't know the name of it and it's in Chinese. <laughs> And I got this off the same website as well. Small little um, jump rings. They've got to be really, really small. Like the smallest, thinnest ones to go through the beads. And this as well. And this isn't like the normal sewing thread that you have. Because this one is... You can't snap it easily. So... These will be in the same shop as well. So let's begin. You're going to do from your fingers to your elbow length of string. Okay. And get your sewing needle. And you're going to go in the middle of the string. So that would be my middle and let's begin so to start off you're going to get one white bead and you're going to pull it all the way down to where your fingers are in the middle of the string and you're going to turn it turn the string like that and hold the bead like that now get two white beads And you're going to go up through that bead. And play with it until they go on top of each other. Ah, like so. Now you're going to get a white bead. And you're going to go down. Like that. Through that bead. Now you're going to get a black bead. And you're going to go up through this bead right here. Like so. Now you're going to get a white bead. And you're going to go down into that black bead. Like that. Now get another black bead and you're going to go up through that white bead now you're going to get a white bead and you're going to go down through that black bead so like that now you're going to get a white bead and go up sorry guys i'm back my phone was dying so i had to plug it in so carry on so you should have something like this and you should have four white on the top and now we're going to get a black bead And we're going to down like that. Now you're going to get one white bead, go up through that black bead like so. 
now you're going to turn we're going to be working on this side so you're going to get two white beads and you're going to go through this first loop you can see go straight through that first loop I've got cat hair You go up through that first bead, like so. If the bead doesn't go straight, you go in at in that first bead, keep dropping it. So if these don't go straight, you go up, in, and up again, and it will stay straight. Now we're going to get a black bead. Just one. And you're going to go through that next, that next loop. And pull up. Like so. Now I would say wrap this string here around your finger so it doesn't come loose. Because we're getting too close to it. Now you're going to get a black bead. And you're going to go into that next loop. Now you're going to get one white bead. Like that. You're going to get another white bead. And you're going to go straight through that bead because there's no strings left so you've got to go through that white bead up up through this one up through that black one in through this white one and up through that one now we turn and we're going to get one black bead and one white bead. Like that. And you're going to put it through that first loop. My phone focuses. Through that first loop there. You're going to go up through that white bead. Like so. Now you're going to get a black bead. And you're going to go into that next loop. Now you're going to get a white bead. Now a black bead. And one more white bead. Now you're going to turn and we're going to get a pink bead and a black bead like that and you're going to go into that second loop. Sorry that my phone keeps going unfocused. So if this happens, like if it doesn't go straight, you go in through that pink bead and up through that black bead and it should straighten out now you're going to get a black bead and go through that next loop and 
Now get a white bead. And go through there. Now you get a black bead. And now you're going to get another white black bead and go through that one. You're going to go up through them two white beads. Like that. You're going to go back in and up. And now you're going to turn, get two black beads. one minute sorry guys my mom was calling me and literally taking two videos and everyone just keeps interrupting me so i'm just not going to edit this one so again get your two black beads oh, i can't pick them up okay so two black beads and you're going to go through that second loop Now you're going to get a white bead. And now you're going to get a black bead. And now you're going to get another black bead. I'm going to go in and up through that white bead, get a black bead, and you're going to go back into that black one and go down. And it should look like this, like it won't go flat like the others, it will have where you can attach the jump ring. Now we're going to sew in our end so it doesn't come on loose. So we're going to go all the way down and you're going to go back up through that loop and down And then you go all the way back up. My string's finishing. And now you can cut that piece of string. So then when you try pulling it, it won't come loose. Now we're going to start the other half of the face. So get your other piece of string and attach it to your needle. And I'm going to go, I got to get to this bead right here. So I got to go through this loop, through the back, through the black one, down through that white one and up through there and turn and we start so we're starting on the other side of the face so it would be the same exact face on the other side so if you look here you're going to get a black bead and a white bead so a black one and a white one and go into that first loop Not 
like that. Now you're going to get a black bead. Now a white bead. And now a black bead. And now a white bead. Like that. Now we're going to turn. And now we're going to get a pink and a black bead. So pink and black. And we're going to go into that second loop. And now a black bead. Now a white bead. Now a black bead. You get another black bead and you're going to go down through that black bead, up through this white one and up through that black one like so. Now you're going to turn and get two black beads. And you're going to go into that string. Like that. Now you're going to get a white bead. Like that. And then you're going to get a black bead. And then another black bead. Now you're going to go through into that next bead and up through that white one and get another black bead and we're going to go into that black one there. And it should go sideways. Now we're going to sew in the ends going in and out. So go zigzag motion. So then you know that the bead won't come loose. Honestly, this is the hundredth time I've told my mom I'm doing a video. Don't call me, but she still does it. So I think you can hear her in the background when she calls me. Because she shouts that loud. Okay. So you carry on doing zigzag motion. And then you go all the way up there and cut the yarn and I'll meet you back when I've done mine. Now get two of your little jump rings. Again, these have to be the thinnest ones you can get. So they can get through the bead. Like 
something like that. Get the other one. like that. Now I've got my ruler so you can see how long I've actually cut it so the black string you're gonna it's gonna be about that this much more longer than the ruler but if you don't about an arm's length so like from your fingers to your elbow And you're gonna need two of these and I've already gone and cut mine so half it like that put this through the loop and do that and I like to do a knot to make sure it stays there like so and do the same on the other side and tie the knot like so. Now I've cut a little bit another piece not as long as that but a little long. So now you're going to do this with the bracelet. Put that string underneath. And tie a knot. like that and zoom in now you're gonna go like this go around underneath with this string and up oh, no sorry I'll do that again so like this this one goes underneath like that and this one up through that loop and you close it don't do it too tight but just a little bit and now you'll have like a little loop going like this that's where you start every time there's a loop so like that over this string under and in that loop and you tie it so now the loops on this side so we start on this side so like that over under and up these loops there so we go start on this side so over under and up like so and you carry on until your string is finished I've done and it will look like this because it's black you can't see as much but it's like little V's but that big now I'm going to cut this a little shorter get your lighter and light it and then press it down and that's we'll lock it <sighs> like that burnt my finger burnt on my finger 
like that. And that is closed and it won't come undone. And you'll be able to pull it. So make it nice and straight in the middle. Tie a little knot on the end. Trim them ends. Like so. Do the same on the other side. And that is done. And it should look something like this. Um, I'm also going to do a fox and a rabbit as well. Because most of you have liked my picture that I put on my on the group in on Facebook. And I also make these bracelets as well. If you'd like to see any of these as well, just comment down below. And I can make it for you. Thanks for watching.